Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello and welcome. So today I'm here to test out something quite exciting. I'm testing out the Heartbreak Palette by Trixie Cosmetics. So this is not a new palette by any means but this is my first time trying Trixie Cosmetics and I'm just so excited because I've recently not recently discovered Trixie but I've recently kind of just like fallen in love with like her videos and just watching her videos like non-stop every day and I mean every single day for the past month I think I've been listening to her music and just like videos on YouTube and stuff and honestly I wish I discovered her much earlier because her stuff is so entertaining and um, if you don't know much about her she's a um, drag queen who was more famous for being on um was it rupaul's drag race in season seven i believe and then just became more famous after i think all stars and now she does like music and stage performances and now well not now but recently like had their own makeup line and i picked this up at beauty bay because they do have quite a few products they don't have a lot of like up-to-date things which is a little bit annoying because i really wanted to get some of her um, I think they're like the dessert, like sugar cookie kind of eyeshadow palettes, but they don't have them on there and I'm not sure about her shipping to the UK, so I'm going to do a bit more research because the new palette is like a blue palette. It looks absolutely stunning, but I thought I would pick this one up because I absolutely love it. So this is the Heartbreak eyeshadow palette. So this is the actual palette itself, the outer packaging is also very, very nice. I think I got it for about maybe £35 or something because her other eyeshadow palettes are around £42. You can get some uh, makeup brushes, you can get some lip products and there's a beauty sponge which is a shape of a love heart which is really cute but I thought I would pick this up. So if you've not seen the palette before I'll just open it up and it opens like this. So it's a really nice kind of, well it's a, kind of a perfect palette for me to be honest. You've got your reds and your light tones, some blues, and just a couple of other deeper tones so I just really wanted to just give it a try like I mentioned there's quite a few other palettes on there I'll put up some swatches but first of course I'm going to start on the eyes so I'm going to go in with my sellotape and my Urban Decay Potion and then we'll get started so now that we're all taped up and ready to go I'm going to start off with Stupid Cupid which is just in the middle so this is like a e I'm going to say it doesn't really look like a pink, but it's also not really like a red. But these are all pressed pigments, so if you, I mean, a lot of times they say it's not like eye safe, which I don't understand in the point of um, like eyeshadow palettes. I'm pretty sure that's the kind of pressed pigment thing, but I mean, I'm very excited to try this, but we'll see how the formula looks because I've obviously it's my first impressions for their makeup and my eyeshadow primer has settled so let's hope this works and yeah we'll get a good look out of it okay so that went on really really nicely now we're going to go in with heartbreaker which is just here so this is a stunning red so i'm looking forward to yeah trying this one so i'm taking one of my Unicorn Cosmetic Eyeshadow Brushes <laughs> and we're just going to go basically onto the most part of the lid just over here. What I like about her brand is that there's such an array of different colours so it's not like they're just sticking to one theme and also I just love the, the kind of um, collabs that she's done. I do want to look at um, the one she did with Cartier because I love their videos on YouTube if you really are like struggling to laugh or anything they will make you laugh they are so funny i've started to listen to their podcast and honestly they are they just work so well together i think they're kind of <laughs> they just bounce off each other when it comes to comedy so i definitely recommend listening to that but this red is super super nice i mean it is very buildable so you kind of have to work a little bit to get it a bit more pop in but it's blending in really nicely with that first pink Okay, looking good so far. So now we're gonna go into Bad Guy, which is just here. And I'm just gonna deepen up the corner just slightly. That does look like a matte shade. I haven't I haven't swatched anything, so I have no idea um, what they are, but they do, it does look like a matte shade. So I'm looking forward to hoping this will deepen up the corner slightly. I'm not going in too heavy because I just want it to be just slightly popping. There's a tad bit of fallout in this palette. I don't think it's, 
a major problem like there's no fallout on my face it's only just a tad in the palette so I'm just picking it up when I'm taking any other shadow now to complete the look I'm going in with crush and burn which is this shimmer down here so it looks like a kind of deep red like I don't know kind of like burgundy shimmer so I'm hoping it's gonna come out really nicely if not I will try with my finger because sometimes that does help okay so now that we're done with the eyes I'm actually now gonna go and just finish the rest of my face and then I will give you my final thoughts <music> look all together of course I'm just reviewing <laughs> the eyeshadow palette I really really like it I mean the pigments in them are really really great I don't know if I mean <clears throat> when it comes to my Urban Decay potion it always does give that little bit of oomph to it but to be honest I don't really use eyeshadows without using that potion now but I really think that by themselves these are really really pigmented I can't wait to use this blue it looks absolutely stunning um, and of course these other shimmers as well I will be using this again maybe at a Valentine's Day because it is coming up quite soon um, which I guess defeats the purpose of this palette but you know what it's still absolutely stunning colors you know if you've picked up anything from Trixie Cosmetics before because I really want to know what their other products are like and thank you so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload Every time I get a chance to, don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <music>